some of gaming's most beloved consoles of all time have been portable consoles. Consoles like the Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, PlayStation Portable, Nintendo DS, 3DS, Nintendo Switch, PS Vita. There are a ton of these consoles, and all of them were relatively popular because of their portability. So are you ready to relive these childhood memories? Are you ready to portably game once again, but this time on your Steam Deck? If you like my content, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and join my Discord server in the description below. I'm not really going to discuss handhelds up to the Game Boy Advance, mostly because the Steam Deck can handle them very easily. You can do all of this within RetroArch, but if you want the more niche features of the GBA, such as, you know, link cable emulation as well as tilt sensors for games like Yoshi's Wooly World, you'll want to use MGBA. DS emulation is very possible, and the Steam Deck is very capable of handling it. Heck, the Steam Deck even has a touchscreen that you can use. That said, the one caveat is that the Steam Deck will have to display both the DS screens side by side. This can break immersion in some DS games, but I'm not too concerned about it. The general consensus seems to be that Melon DS is currently the best DS emulator on the market today. There's a ton of really good DS games you could play. Games like Pokemon on the DS as well as the Castlevania games, the Legend of Zelda games as well. Even some critically acclaimed titles such as The World Ends With You originally started on the DS. Let's move on to PSP emulation. Emulating the PSP is easy with the PPSSPP emulator. PPSSPP has really good compatibility with PSP games. You can even upscale and mod games if you so desired. The PSP also has a pretty good library. You have games like Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, the two portable God of War games, Patapon, and many others. Let's move on to 3DS emulation. I never really had a need to emulate the 3DS, given that I still have my modified new 3DS. That said, 3DS emulation has been shown to run on systems such as the Aya Neo. There may be an issue with 3DS emulation, a similar one to the DS in which, you know, both screens have to be side by side, but on a more exacerbated level. It would kind of look something like this. Not a great experience, but if you need to play Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask for the 3DS, by all means, it'll probably run pretty well. The main emulator you'll want to use for 3DS emulation is Citra, which has been developed by the same guys developing Yuzu, the Switch emulator that I've featured in one of my videos. Now for the elephant in the room, the PS Vita. There's only one emulator that focuses on emulating the Vita, that's Vita 3K. And it kind of sucks too because I lost my PS Vita a couple of years ago. There's a couple of games that you should definitely try out on the Vita. Soul Sacrifice, Freedom Wars, Muramasa Rebirth, Odin Sphere Lethargir, and plenty of other Vita games I really enjoyed. And if any Vita 3K developers are watching this video, I just want to know that I'm rooting for you guys to get a Vita emulator up and running, and I'd be down to do some testing on my Steam Deck once I get it. And of course, the Nintendo Switch. I've already done a video on the Nintendo Switch, so if you want to watch that, be sure to check it out. There will be a link in the description. Happy portable gaming, fellas!